So we're going to continue with the Concord Commons project and we're going to introduce the concept of sites in Civil 3D. So a site is a collection of alignments and parcels and grading um, and all of those features interact with each other and so there are times where we're going to need to create multiple sites to control how those features interact. Uh, for this initial uh, demonstration here we're going to create a site that consists of the outer boundary of our project and then we'll create the alignments that make up our three roadways that are inside of our project site. So the first thing I want to do is use the save as command and we'll save this as Concord Commons step 4 just so we can save our previous work and not overwrite it. Um, and then we're going to clean up our view a little bit so I'm going to turn off the display of our, our surface. So I'm going to right click on EG surface properties and change it to a no display and we can always change this back later. Uh, and then I'm going to get rid of the map. So under planning and analysis we'll turn off our aerial map just so there's a little less clutter. Going back to Civil 3D. Let's create our first site here. So we'll We'll click on Sites, right-click, go to New, and let's create this site called Subdevelopment. And then under Sites here, we can see the Subdevelopment site we created. And if we expand that, we've got Alignments, Grading, and Parcels. So we're going to start by creating a Boundary Parcel. So we're going to go to, under the Home tab, Create Designs, Parcel, create parcel from object and we're going to pick the outer polyline and hit enter. We'll put it on the subdevelopment site. Uh, we'll leave all this stuff alone. Under the area label style let's change this to name, square foot, and acres and then we'll uncheck this erase existing entities and hit OK. And we can see it, it turned it blue and if we zoom in we've got property label 1 and it is 23, just over 23 acres here. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do a save real quick. So just type in save, hit enter. And now what we want to do is start with our alignment work. Uh, so an alignment is just a horizontal curve and it represents our roadways in this instance. Uh, so before we do that, let's take a look at, at some of our polylines here. We can see that we've got this uh, break point in the polyline, so this is two line segments, and that may give us a bit of trouble later, um, so we'll, we'll have to revisit that when we uh, create the alignments here. Um, what we want to do first is go up to alignment, and we're going to create alignments from our objects, and we'll pick this horizontal road right here that consists of those two line segments. And remember there's a, a main road here, so this is the entryway into our subdevelopment. So that is the direction that we want our road to start. So it's going to label this as uh, distance zero and, and progress in the direction of the arrow. We're going to call this Sarah Way. Apparently they like wine in the textbook example that we're following. Uh, the site is going to be under subdevelopment. We'll leave these add curves between tangents and we can set the default radius, uh, leave that alone as well, and hit OK. And you'll see it turns it into a green object here. So it deleted the existing object and now we have a horizontal curve for our roadway that has all of these stations labeled. We're going to do the same thing for the next two roads, so create alignment from objects. We'll pick the bottom roadway here and in this case I, I picked too far up to the side so the arrow is incorrect so we're going to use the reverse command and flip it around and then uh, we're going to call this one Cabernet Court. It's going to go back under the subdevelopment site. All these options are fine. We'll hit OK. And you can see now that we've got two properties. Uh, so the alignment broke up the initial parcel. So we've got property one and property two down here. And we're going to get another one when we add our last alignment. So alignment from objects. We'll pick this one, hit enter. That direction of travel is what we want. Uh, so we'll hit enter. And this one is called front neck drive. 
and it also goes on our sub development and you can see that uh, it changed our radii for us here so we're no longer coming to a, an abrupt angle change. If we come back here we can see that we've got a lot of stuff going on. This is actually a, a curve here happening so we want to change this alignment just a little bit. So if we click on this alignment we can go to geometry editor and what I actually want to do is I want to delete this uh, point of interest here. So I'm going to delete this point of interest, uh, which now means that these two rows don't quite intersect. Uh, and we can fix that by clicking on this alignment. I'm going to grab onto this endpoint so it turns red. And I'm going to shift right click to do a nearest so that I can snap back to that alignment. So now we have three properties. We've got this lot, uh, we got this parcel here, and we've got the larger of the parcels that consists of the areas here as well. We can modify our alignments just a bit. So we can play around with uh, some of these radii. So if you click on these, they have control points and we can just free drag these around. So we could increase the radius of this roadway if we wanted to. I'm going to bring it back down just a little bit. So we're going to change some of the properties of this alignment. Uh, particularly, uh, we're going to get a little more control over the radius here. And one way we can do that is by going and clicking on this and going to the geometry editor here. And we want to click on this uh, pick sub entity and we'll pick on our curve here and it brings up uh, the properties and you can see the radius right now is only 142 so let's change that to 200 feet and make that radius a little larger for us and if we click on this other radius over here we've got 172 and we can also make that one 200 we could come down here and, and change this radius as well it's quite small um, and we could probably make this quite large, maybe a thousand to smooth out this, this transition. There's another one over here we can change. So we'll have to click on this alignment, go to Geometry Editor, pick sub-entities, and maybe make this one a thousand as well. And then there's one last one down here. Um, so I'm just going to free drag this one. So I'll click on this point and expand it just a little bit. And once I'm happy with my alignments, I can close all those tabs. And so what we have is a site that has three parcels in it right now and three alignments. So if we um, right click on our parcels and hit refresh, you'll see that the three properties come up. And under the alignments, under center line alignments, we've got our Cabernet Court, Front and Act Drive, and Sorrel Way. So this is a good place to stop for this tutorial. So let's save this. So again, we'll just go to save since we've already got it saved to step four. And we'll continue in the next video.